Hey guys, my name is Builder George, and today I got a new video. It's basically concerning about the upper dash piece and the 07 to 14 body style of vehicles. This is plagued in almost every body, which is including the Yukon, the Yukon XL Suburbans, Tahoes, Avalanches, and also the um, the truck bodies. Now this is this goes for this trim piece right here and this upper dash piece we'll be focusing on the upper dash piece as this is the one that is that i'm having the issues with as you can tell i'm not supposed to lift this you can tell also from right here that it's not supposed to be this floppy so this is going to be an easy swap i have it i have the item outside so i'll show you guys how it looks sorry about the camera wobble um basically all you're gonna have to remove if you guys can see are this this trim piece right here because it latches on right there and as you guys can see on the driver's side right over here um as well very easy very easy job and i believe that this will transform the look of the car from inside um let me show you guys the tools and the item okay i'll be right back so the tools that we're going to be using today is a 10 millimeter deep socket. This will be used on the passenger side. And we also have a 7 millimeter deep socket that is also going to be using on the driver's side. So this is the trim piece right here. This is a one, this appears to be a one to one replica of the OEM um, part. Now, hopefully, it's not a one to one OEM quality. We'll just have to find out through time. But it does have the sunload sensor right here, vent cutout vin cut out right here for the plate on the front of the driver's side so and also they do come with metal clips you don't have to reuse the metal clips from the original one each ones have the same exact latch point onto the body so it should be a very easy and simple process of installation so let me show you guys how the upper dash prim dash piece is removed and i'll meet you guys over there all right, guys, so this is the driver's side um, pillar right here. So we are gonna be using the seven millimeter deep socket. There's also a cap right here. I literally removed it and grabbed it with my fingers and pulled it off. So we're gonna go ahead and use a seven millimeter right here. Should have hooked on and then we untighten. Screw is off. Should slowly pry off. Be very careful as there is the speaker right here or the tweeter right here so be very careful with how you remove this so you guys do not damage the wire right here okay now that we got the first tweeter removed now this should be very easy to pry off as you guys can see i can literally pick up a fourth of this right now so the only thing holding me back is that um some load sensor right over here so i'm going to go ahead and remove that so we're just gonna go ahead. Oh crap. Well, there goes that. Well, we're gonna go ahead and unplug the sensor from right down here. This should be very easy. As you guys can see, mine is already breaking apart. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this. There we go. Just twist and turn and it should remove. Mine is legit falling apart. And let me show you guys how it's done on this side. We're gonna go ahead, go in with the 10 millimeter and pull. As you guys can see now we can remove this piece as well it has tabs please do remember that so you just need to slowly pop them off okay and there's the final piece right here so let me show you guys how it looks with um with the original one and to the replica as you guys can get a visual idea of what we're talking about so let me flip you guys to the back and we're the back here's the replica 
Here's the original. It is all cracked up. I could not preserve this. I suggest you guys don't do the same as well. As you guys can see, mine does have a glaze on it. This one does not yet. So I will be applying it. Also, it's um, there are these plastic pieces right here. I went ahead and put them on. They're easy to put back on. Just slide them back on and they will click as you go. This should encompass the whole end right here. And then you have an extra piece right there for that end piece. Um, and then it's just rinse and repeat. The way you saw it is the way you're gonna put it back in. So let me go ahead and put it back in. First, what you're gonna want to do is basically go ahead and get this up a little bit more. I had it sort of aligned. Grab your sun load sensor right here and attempt to put it back into its rifle spot. Okay, so basically I got the sun load sensor. I'm just gonna feed it right into its spot. Twisting it made it lock into place. I couldn't get it um, with my own fingers. So I just went ahead and just used those pliers or needle nose pliers just to twist it, helped me out, increased it. Um, so now we can go ahead and try to install it. So we already went, I already went ahead and plugged it right in. So now the sun load sensor is in. I'm gonna try to align it with these um, blue pieces of tape. As you guys can see right here on the left hand side there is blue tape those are the indicators those automatically were there when i took off the upper dash piece there are your guiding your guide i guess you would say and towards um putting these metal tabs into their place so i'm going to slowly work my way through and then i'm going to presume that the pillars come last as i don't i don't think i can plug them in instantly Okay, so I'm just gonna start prying down. One, two, three. And then. All right, guys, so I already got it installed and everything. Here is the only downside to it. As you guys can see right there is that little fitment issue that goes with the other end as well. Um, I can probably finagle it a little bit more, but as the sun is um, coming down, I had to do what I had to do. So as of right now, that's just this how it's going to stay. It can click right under here from what I've understood as I can hear it ridge. But I'm just going to have to take these off another day and just slowly work with it. Um, it was basically like a rinse and repeat process. The sensor, take it off first um, and then go from there. Handles or get back on. It's very linear, very easy to do. And if it's happening to you, you might as well do it. Save yourself the embarrassment of having a carpet on top or a dash cap, which is not my cup of tea. I'd rather just do this and sacrifice just a little bit instead of having a dash cap with a rectangle stick out right here because of the airbag. Um, other than that, I would give this installation a maybe five out of 10 five because um you've got the worry of these pillars right here and not trying to mess up the tweeters because of the cable you got to be very careful with it and because you got to be careful with the dash if your dash is not cracked already then i would really really try to be careful in my video i was um uh, when i was trying to do it it was basically me on this like pressuring it down which i should have not done because i'm trying to preserve it and trying to see how long it can last before i decide to get a new one so 
anyway if you guys liked the video drop a like if you guys did not dislike the video and if you guys have any questions drop them down below in the comment section and if you guys haven't already please subscribe to the channel we're at 200 two two wait 200 zero, zero, 200 subscribers so it's a very happy day um i try my best i mean as best as i can i like these body styles and i hope to have a um, another body style like this in the near future we'll just have to see but till then um this is builder george and i appreciate you guys watching this video catch you guys on the next one bye bye